All right, there's been some uh, debate and discussion lately. Yeah, there's been a lot of debate about uh, price decoupling between the ETFs and the spot prices. So I figured I'd try to address some of that in this video just so you can get an idea of what's going on. Again, you know, I, I don't know about a lot of the uh, the back, you know, the back alley information. I'm not privy to a lot of that stuff. But I do know price. I know price action. I know charts. And that's what I go by. I go by what is the chart telling me? Will prices decouple? I don't know. Is the market being manipulated? Of course. Can you still pimp this market and make money? Of course. So let me just show you how to do that. All right. If you recall the pre the prior video that I did on the um, on gold spot, well, you can see the charts look pretty much identical. So there's no decoupling going on right now. All right. As far as Thursday, I'm sorry, Wednesday's price action, um, the GLD closed up 27 cents, uh, up to 0.2.4 percent. Prices closed higher than the open, with strong bids going into the close. Now, market sentiment readings showing a negative 32.77 post scan. Now, the market post is negative since it's trading below its zero signal line. The post scan crossed below the swing VIX, creating a downtrend channel as of one period ago. The swing VIX is below negative 29. This is where it usually forms support. The swing VIX usually forms support before the underlying security. The last signal was an overbought sell 51 periods ago. Since the last swing VIX signal, this uh, ETF's price has increased. 0.24% and it's ranged from a high of $114.99 to a low of $113.08 uh, under momentum currently the trend is um, it's nothing because currently uh, there's currently no trend reading at this time as for trend strength there's currently no trend strength reading at this time as for trend line retracements well this um, ETF is currently trading below its short-term period um, trend line retracement of $115.67 a share. We're going to need to close above that in order to have some hope of gaining some upward mo momentum. Second resistance is at $117.15. So we need to clear $115.67 first, then look at setting our sights on $117.15. Uh, currently, the market is trading below its weekly price projection resistance uh, target of 117.50, and it's currently trading well below its weekly support of 115.11. Looking at volatility, here's the story. The ETF closed above the lower band by 3.9%. Now, this combined with the steep downward um, slope suggests that the downward trend in price has a good chance of continuing. However, a short-term pullback inside the bands is likely. Now, we do not have any system generated long or short signals, but you do want to watch this one because it's moving just like gold is right now. You see this question mark in the bottom right-hand corner right here? That means we don't have a direction. We don't have a trend. See right here, it says neutral. It says neutral. That means nothing is really happening. Nothing is going on. And that's where we stand right now in silver spot. Remember, gold and silver are moving together. So even though silver sometimes will pull back while gold might not pull back as much, it's still trading together. And the GLD is following the gold spot. The SLV is following the silver spot. So for right now, that's what you got. That's what you're working with, all right? Remember, take what you can, give nothing back. Peace out.